Shimmy, shimmy, yo, shimmy, ya. Uh-huh. About to start my day, so I'm rolling up the za. Remember all the time they say I wouldn't make it far. Yeah. Left into the bank, my account be the star. Yeah, that. It was a fight on Fresh and Fit. Semi a little scuff. I ain't going to even say it. That was not a fight. It was more of a little mm. scuffle. Uh, something that I always frequently say on here is I do not support domestic violence or violence of any kind for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man shouldn't hit women. Nah. Women should not hit man. Because nah. it's just a bad situation, you know? Always bad. Always ends in the worst situation. The worst thing about, you know, that situation is if you're a man, you're never going to win either way you go. Nope. Because Bow Wow sat right there and let his girl beat his ass. The nigga was a joke for a little while for that shit. Yep. But if he had a beat her, they'd have been trying to cancel that nigga canceled, for the rest yeah. of his life. For sure. So, I mean, I guess at least if you take your ass whooping, it's just a couple jokes. And nobody really bring up the fact that Bow Wow, you know, got beat up by his girl no more. I mean, he did the right thing. He didn't. He just like how Jay Z got his ass whooped by Solange in a goddamn elevator. You talk about it when you talk about it, but you don't bring it up because they did the right thing. They learned and sank from Chris Brown mistake. Now, if Chris Brown wouldn't have did that, he wouldn't have got canceled the way they was trying to cancel him. Bro was trying. They was trying to cancel bro. Bro got they they off. still kind of bring that still up. They they took bro off of the double mint commercial and all of that. Bro was on his like, bro was on his way to some some big things. Yeah, he he already that he, nigga, but they, but his level would have been about five times bigger. It wouldn't have been no. It wouldn't have been no. Michael Jackson, Chris Brown. It'd have been Chris Brown, Michael Jackson. You think Chris would have surpassed him? Fuck yeah. Chris is way better. Man, man. Chris is way better dancer than, than Mike. But you got to look at it generationally. Everybody generationally, generationally changed yeah, with the gen- dance. Generation, generation, Mike was killing him. Yeah, generationally. And then Mike Mike is forever cemented, but like Chris Brown is that guy. Though. Chris Brown took R&B back to another level that it needed to be on. I, don't know, I think Michael Jackson might have been one of the most famous people ever. Yeah, he most famous people ever. Chris Brown could have been that too if he would have. Chris Brown would have been that guy, if not more, if that situation with him and Riri would have never happened. I'm telling I don't, you. I don't know if he would have surpassed Snoop Dogg in, in famousness. It depends on what you're looking for because it, 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 up until then, up until then, Chris Brown was a, the world's sweetheart, bro. Up until that incident, bro, he was he was. On his way up until that little incident happened. And then as soon as he fucked up and did whatever he did in that car to that girl, boom, rock bottom. You know what's crazy about that night? I always, anytime I get into this conversation, I feel like I got to bring this up too. The wildest shit that happened that night was Christian Bill beat up his mother and he beat up his girlfriend that same exact night. I think no less than like 10 minutes away from where that shit took place. Right. Nobody ever talked about that shit. You know why? Because at the time, Chris Brown and Rihanna was the hottest thing. I get that. But the nigga beat his mother's ass. It didn't matter. It didn't matter at that time. That's that's just wild to me. You know what I'm saying? No, you absolutely right. Because that should have been on the focal fronts too. But like you said, it's wild. Yeah, it's two celebrities versus one celebrity and his girlfriend and mother. But... Yeah, they definitely tried to get Chris out the paint. But yeah, man, I, I still think it's... Uh, we started this on the fresh and fifth fight. We didn't even get into what the, happened in the fight. But, you know, the girl and... Uh, what's his name? Tommy uh, Sotomayor, some shit like that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Him and the girl got the arguing. Tommy, um, man. And she got up to go swing on him. That boy Tommy be having some weird podcasts. He be. <laughs> I don't think I've ever listened to any of his work. You have to have a distinctive ear because he definitely, he definitely don't give a fuck what he say out of his mouth. Like he, he's just some shit. Like some shit, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Some stuff that he say, I be like, okay, he makes some sense. And then some shit, I be like, this nigga weird. But he just a wild dude though. He just. He's just a wild dude. 
but he believe in what he believe in, so I can't I can't get mad at him. You know, he was he believe in what he believe in. He respect what he respects. So but he definitely for any women that listen, you gotta have a stern ear because he definitely disrespects women to the T. Shits on women. Like horribly. That's I, it, I've never heard Cuz content, but I hear the same things when uh, women bash Kevin Samuels. And if you listen to Kevin Samuels, he's not really bashing women. He's just talking reality. And uh, he no, the nigga talking reality is just how he how he say what he be saying. No, because now as a woman, you have to sit there and listen to somebody who's not trying to fuck you at all. So they not trying to bullshit you in any way. They just giving you their honest opinion. And he comes from a background where he's an image consultant, so looks matter from the field that he comes from. Nah, for sure. And with niggas, niggas care if they girl look good or not. Nah, we do. Even if you don't tell her you she look good, you want her to look good. And he tries to make girls realize that sexual marketplace is different than relationship marketplace. Yeah. If you going and it's facts. If you go into a room and it's a hundred niggas in the room, you say. Anybody want to fuck me? More than likely, most of the niggas going to fuck you. If you got no diseases wrong with you, none of that shit, niggas going to fuck. For sure. But if a nigga walked into the room and it's 100 girls and you just say, hey, I'm trying to fuck, you ain't going to get the same numbers. No, nah, not at all. So, I mean, he women look at him saying those things to them as him being blunt and disrespectful and down talking on black women and all that shit. Or even telling women that if you have a kid, it could hurt your sexual, it could hurt your relationship marketplace. I mean, you know, they always, personally, you know, anytime a per, anytime a male sits up and talk about a woman in a in a way they don't like, we always gonna get bash. That's just what's gonna come with it. If we sit right here, if we had a podcast right now about how women ain't shit. It'll be 40 women that talk about how niggas ain't shit. Oh, yeah, man. Relationship podcast. They about to be out here soon, y'all, man. We shooting another episode Friday. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yeah, these new shows about to come out like hotcakes. I don't see why not. Get your hustle on, baby. Get your hustle on. Yeah, I got a game show that I'm lining up to. I'm creating the, the shit around it, you know, the tickets and all that. Right. But, yeah, I got a game show out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man, I'm out here trying to get this money. But, uh, yeah, what's some things you think Tommy would say that women would take disrespectful? Because, again, I've never heard any of this, you know, uh, commentary. But I just saw him piss Shorty I mean, off and she swung I mean, on his he, ass. He, he, big, he big on the bitches. He definitely bitching her on you to death. He just he just shitting on bras. Like, any way he could shit on a bra, he's shitting on her. Like, straight up shitting on her. I mean, because... I. I was some, like, but I, like I say, some of this shit makes sense to me because I'm a man, so I'd be like, okay, cool. He just got a non-filter tongue on how he how he feel about women. That's all, for real, for real. He just a non-filter tongue. So I'm definitely gonna have to go check out some. I got yeah, see, he got some shit for your ass. Him, he got some shit. My barber put me on there, that nigga. Cause I came in there one day uh, when he was cutting from his house, and um. He had that shit up on there. He was like, "Man, listen to this." I'm like, "Man, it, the 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 show that he showed me the the segment actually it was all right. It wasn't that bad." But then he got some jokes. I was like, "This nigga crazy as hell, boy. <laughs> this nigga crazy, boy." He says some shit, but niggas fuck with it though. He get it. He get a strong viewing and all of that. So, oh yeah, the manosphere shit is is big right now. Yeah, he lit. He fucking lit. But that's crazy how just uh, an actual reality conversation will come into play and it's just Bro. like mind blowing to Bro. women. Because, some, like I say, honestly and truly, for real, for real, no one likes when the rabbit has a gun. Which is facts. No one likes it. We can put that out there, but. I'm- What's up, good people? It's your boy DJ the Park Boy. And if you enjoy the content I provide here on the Nest Up Network, a good way for you to support. Go hit the merch store. That's right. FlossHouseStore.com. Go buy some t-shirts. Go buy some socks. You can buy hoodies. You can get anything you're looking for. Make sure it's official. Floss House merch. Support the show. That's an easy way to support the show directly. I mean, what you doing? Like, don't waste your time. Go do it right now. Right now, man.